In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friend, I'm sure you're well. It is Saturday, the 11th day of February, in this year of our Lord and Savior, 2023. Today we are on day two in our 21 days novena for inner peace and stillness. Today, I want to share something maybe I had mentioned, and it's about the praying for the sick. Any believer, not any, every believer is tasked to pray for the sick. We can pray for the sick and in faith we approach God to heal our sick people. Um, I think in the course of this week, if I'm not so wrong, um, on Thursday, no, on Wednesday, we had an online mass for a family that is praying for a young man who has been a bit unwell. And I was talking about uh, the consequences of a long illness. And those of you who have had a terminal illness or who have had a patient who was sick for so long, you understand what I mean. I am one of them. My mom, who rested in 2019, the 6th of January, was sick for 12 years. And uh, I said, when our people are sick, especially when the sickness is lengthy, it helps to put so many things in perspective. One, the unity of the family. Because uh, a lengthy illness or a sickness that has taken lots of time or a long time to subside or to get healed, and, this, and number two, which is also expensive, it becomes like a trial to the family members. That is when you know who has always been on your side. That is when siblings are able to know how united they are. And that is when, actually, the bond of marriage is tested. We have had, in the past, people who fizzled in thin air when their partners got unwell. Men who ran away when their wives were dying. Women who ran away when their husbands were dying. Haven't we even had parents who ran away leaving their children to die? Well, that is the most rare one. Unfortunately, it happens. What does that mean? It means that even as believers, we've got the capacity to give up. And that is why I want to speak to someone who would want to give up. And uh, on this day, I want to give you four reasons why you should never give up. It doesn't matter how expensive that sickness is. It doesn't matter who is financing the medication. It doesn't matter what has been said about the sick person and the family where the sick person comes from. It doesn't even matter the source of the sickness. But as believers, we should never, ever give up. And the first reason why we should never give up is that it is God's will to heal you. Because it is God's will to heal, then we cannot give up. Stop questioning God whether he is healing the person or whether he had your prayers. Of course he did. And because it is, it is his will to heal you, that is the first reason why you should never, ever give up. Take the word of God and believe it for your circumstance. Just 
as healing was his will then, it is his will now. Your mom will be well in God's time and speed. Your dad will be well in God's time and speed. Your son, your daughter will be well in God's time and speed. Your wife, your husband will be well in God's time in God's speed. Your friend will be well. It is the will of God to heal you. Reason number two, why you should never give up. Healing is God's name. That is my best. That is my best. Exodus 15, 26, we read, If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, Give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes. I will put none of the diseases on you, and I ha uh, which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Rapha means the Lord who heals you. God is the great physician who heals his people. His, this truth, this truth in God's name applies equally to all facets of our life. Because his name means healing, then we should never give up. Because this is the God whom we believe in. Reason number three why you should never give up. It is God's promises to heal. He promises us that he will heal us. There is nothing as good as, uh, as a promise that you know for sure will be met. Because his promises always are met. There is a, a note we call a promissory note. A promissory note is a note that I will pay. It is as good as a check. A promissory note is as good as some liquid cash. I, I like to equate that with the promise of God. That when we have a sick person and we go to God, we go carrying the promissory note that this will be met, the bill will be paid, he will heal us. And finally, reason number four, why you should never give up on God when it comes to sicknesses, Jesus paid for your healing on the cross. It is paid and it is well. Dear good people, tell me one reason, one, not two, one, why you should give up. Please don't. The God who healed then is the God who is healing now. And it is the same God who is going to heal you or your loved ones. Please don't give up. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Saturday.